This is the crazy story of what happens when a bunch of idealistic farmers decide to start a company. It's the story of Organic Valley. You've probably heard of it, but maybe not. As far as names go, it's pretty boring and easy to forget. And that's how beauty shots are made. I came up with the word Organic Valley. I said, this is easy, people can understand it. It's really not that creative. We were not a very sophisticated bunch. Yep, somehow this company with a forgettable name that was started by just seven organic farmers. I'm one of the founding farmers for Organic Valley. In the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin, has lasted for 30 years. Yeah. And today they deliver ridiculously fresh organic milk, eggs, cheese, butter, and cream to families all around the country. But wait, let's back up. This whole thing got started because of this guy. Okay. Back in 1988, George was a long-haired, shoeless hippie farmer. He and his farmer buddies were sick of the way food was being grown with toxic pesticides and how farmers were being treated. And he was saying radical stuff like, The conventional food that you buy in the store is food raised in a manner that's harmful to the earth. That's pretty wacky. <laughs> George is stubborn, but he's also a very reasonable person. So George and six neighbor farmers decided to start an organic cooperative, which meant the farmers would own and run the company and make food that's better for you, the animals, the land, and your taste buds. Yeah, that's a real important thing. Let's just say in those early days, it was kind of like the Wild West in organics, or the Wild Midwest, we should say. I was the first chief financial officer, although we didn't call me that. We did not have any money. All of us made $5 an hour. It was day-to-day -day living. A couple years later, some of us went up to seven. We were never worried about success. We were worried about trying. Since then, Organic Valley has grown a lot. Over 2,000 small family farmers have joined the cooperative, and all they do is make organic food, the way they would if they owned the company, which they do. Which means no hormones, no GMOs, no antibiotics, and no toxic pesticides. And animals get lots and lots of time out on pasture. Crazy, right? And remember that young, idealistic farmer, George? Well, he's still a long-haired, shoeless farmer. <laughs> I got a reputation to maintain. But now he's also the CEO, who drives a hybrid car to work. Because that's what happens when a bunch of farmers own the company. The theme is, let's do it our way. So if you're a person living on planet Earth who sometimes eats food, here's why you should care about this story. We cannot afford to be degrading our lands any longer. Small family farms are much more invested in the health of the soil, the health of the animals, the health of the people. It's much more intimate. Organic Valley is all about promoting that care and supporting that. Yep, a food company that's owned and run by a bunch of organic farmers. Call us crazy, but it's working. Organic Valley.